First and foremost, one of those strongholds, those Jericho walls that Jesus has already overcome and that he's calling us into to, to enter into his victory is the stronghold of what we believe, the, the lies that we believe about God. Coming to know God, to know him as he is, as he says he is in the word. There are so many lies that we've come to believe about God. I know that most of us probably are actually on a, on a positive track to undoing some of those lies and believing the best about God because we've been on a growth track for some time. But there are people among us who might, this might be either new or new-ish. And I'm encouraging you to see that Jesus Christ has already overcome the enemy and all of his lies. And the work that the Holy Spirit is doing now is almost sort of retroactively working in us to bring us into what he has already delivered us from. It's a weird way of saying it, but he's already given us that victory. Now we need to line ourselves up with it. What's true about God? Believe it. Well, you need to study what is true about God. Is what you believe about God the truth? Is he really sort of holding out on you? Is, does he really uh, stiff arm you when you keep asking him for the thing that you keep asking? Does he really distance himself from you? Is it true that he will no longer bless you because you did the same sin once too many times now? Are, are any of these things that you believe about God true? And how are you gonna know that if you're not in the word and in community with other people you trust to say, I feel I know, but I feel like God, whatever. And someone can say, I hear you. And I can see why you feel that way. But we know that the scriptures teach us this. And we know that it also teaches us that. And we need to renew our faith and fight the good fight. And I'll join you and I'll pray for you. Don't we need conversations like that with each other? Reminding each other, overcoming those strongholds that are up against us, the ones that Jesus has already overcome and he has already given us the, the, the keys to unlock those, those, uh, those battles that we have. He's already told us about God's love. He's already told us about God's uh, victory. He's already shown us uh, the acceptance that we have with the Father. He's praying for us and he has already given us a down payment of all that is to come by giving us the Holy Spirit and uh, allowing us to take with us wherever we go the very presence presence of God. All of that and more in the life to come. That was just for now. And I'm encouraging you to live in light of all of that. And I want you to live like it's true. 